Here at Le Safre, we are experts in the fermentation of yeast. Fermenting means organizing and controlling the environment while providing high-quality yeast cells with the materials they need, like sugar and oxygen, for example, in order for them to generate many other cells. At Le Safre, we create all the right conditions for fermentation, enabling the yeast cells to multiply. Let's learn how. It all begins in what we call the strain bank, where the different strains of yeast cells are stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. An initial liquid culture is prepared in a tube. A few milligrams of yeast are transferred to a culture medium and this is placed in an incubator at a favorable temperature. The fermentation process then requires patience. Next, the yeast cells are transferred to a larger environment. The purpose of these different stages is to successively increase the biomass, namely the quantity of cells produced, in order to reach a sufficient quantity of yeast. We can then pitch a fermenter to obtain the first generation yeast. The end result is several tons of yeast generated in just a few days. The yeast is then separated from the culture medium, which enables the cells to multiply thanks to the use of a centrifugal separator. This gives us a cream, which is then cooled and stored in chilled conditions at 4 degrees Celsius to ensure that the yeast cells are inactive. In this form, the yeast can be processed in order to be sold. At this stage, it can already be sold as liquid yeast by preparing just the cream yeast. This liquid yeast is then sold in three forms, either in Castalia, which is a sort of refrigerated bag, or else the cream yeast is sold in a container, 0.1 to 1 cubic meter, or in 25-ton trucks for very large bakeries. We also market another type of yeast, namely fresh or compressed yeast. The yeast cream is passed through a rotary filter, or vacuum filter, a machine which sucks away the liquid, making it possible to obtain a fine layer of yeast. This layer is then processed in a mixer, which compresses the yeast. Next, the compressed yeast is cut into cubes and packed. To obtain dry yeast, namely dehydrated yeast, the yeast cream passes through a rotary filter once again, but then goes into an extruder and a drying plant, making it possible to remove even more water from the yeast layer. And that's how we make yeast. <laughs>